Hey comic book fans, my nerdy friends, my geeky compadres, what's going on? I'm back, uh, back from my mini vacation. Uh, picked up some things at a shop there, so I wanted to show you those. So, yeah, here we go. Alright, so let's get started. I got kind of, you can see right here, see that? That's what I picked up. So let me show you issue by issue. So uh, I don't really know much about the back issues of Harbinger, but I'm really into the current running title. So I, this was the only one I was able to find um, in the, These are, most of these are all like quarter bin. So uh, yeah, I found this Harbinger number 28. Next, I picked up The Deadly Foes of Spider-Man, number one. Looks, it looks pretty sweet. Um, I, like most of these I don't know much about, so uh, I just saw them. They looked awesome. Picked them up, and it was like five for a buck. So, uh, yeah, it kind of went a little bit crazy. Um, there we go. Moon Knight, number 35. Between guest starring the Punisher, so that's cool. I uh, found Red Tornado number one. Uh, this is from when is this from? I think 1984, 85. This is from 1985. So Red Tornado number one. Uh, Red Tornado number three. They didn't have number two, so I'm gonna have to. I have to go search for that one. I think that's that's gonna be on my list to uh, to find pretty soon. Uh, Red Tornado number four. Uh, so those are pretty sweet. Um, these next ones, here we go. Um, found Morbius number seven. Mister Dead would like these. <laughs> uh, this one, and then I got Morbius number eight as well. Thought they looked awesome. This one, uh, actually, it's funny. I uh, read that Morbius drinks drug-tainted blood and gets sucked down into a nightmare. I thought that looked kind of cool. So, yeah, pick those up. And then these next ones, um, almost, it, it's pretty sweet. It's almost a complete run of number 1 through 13. I'm just missing number 12. Uh, so, uh, the New Warriors, number 1. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. You see Nova there. I don't know most of these people, but I saw Nova and I was like, oh, I gotta try that out. Number seven, again, another Punisher uh, guest appearance. Number eight, this one. Number nine. Number ten. This one's got a little bit of like water damage here on the side, uh, which, you know, it stinks, but for a quarter, not even a quarter, five for a dollar, so. Um, number nine, again, guest starring the Punisher, number ten, number eleven, Frank Cobb and Nude would, lo Nude would love these with Nova in them, I gotta let them know about these, so Frank, check these out, Nova's in them, <laughs> and, uh, Number 13. Uh, it's cool, you can kind of see the progression of uh, like guest appearances in these. Uh, it felt like they didn't know what they were going to do with this book. But like, you know, Punisher's in like three of them. You know, uh, it go <laughs> number six is Black Bolts in them. So you see like kind of like B-list characters. And then like coming up, you see, this is number 11. You got Wolverine, Cap, Iron Man, Thor. 
And then you got, in 13, you got Magneto, Juggernaut, Cyclops. So I thought they looked really cool, so I decided to pick them all up. And then my last pickup um, of the trip there, and, uh, this one wasn't in the quarter bin or the dollar bin or anything like that. But um, if anybody had seen my contest entry to Mongo Stomp Time 07's um, contest he had about your Holy Grail book and what you your Holy Grail book to get is, um, I actually picked up my Holy Grail to get book. Um, one of them. It, it, minor, it's a two-part uh, limited series, but... I picked up this Silver Surfer number one of the parable story at that shop and it was only five bucks uh, so I was so 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 stoked to see this there and uh, not at an unreasonable price so um, I just gotta find number two of this and I'll be trying to find another Holy Grail book. Uh, but yeah, this uh, this was awesome. An awesome, awesome find. So um, yeah, I picked up all these books. Uh, ended up only costing me nine bucks for all of them. Uh, so yeah, it was a successful, uh, successful trip for me. Um, while I'm here, I'm gonna try to do a quick lightning review uh, video because uh, that's what I usually do today. Um, but after the weekend, like I read all these books on Thursday morning and Wednesday night, so my memory's not too great on them, so I'll just give you a quick, real brief um, synopsis of the books, if I can. And I might just be like, oh, this one was good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so uh, this was not this last week's, it was the week before, uh, Mind the Gap number eight. Um, this is one of those books that I can't really remember. Um, I know... Oh man, yeah, I can't remember. I know she... I think Elle was in the little girl's body and now she's out of it at the end of this book. Um, you know, it's kind of a, a crazy story and it seems like the issues are all kind of running the same. Uh, but it's still a decent, decent book. Um, I really like the story, it's just it's it, it'd be hard to describe each issue issue by itself because they're all pretty similar so um yeah mind the gap number eight pretty good daredevil number 24 this was really good but again i can't remember god i just can't remember exactly what happens i remember it being really good when i read it i was like oh this is awesome so i'm gonna keep on the daredevil uh on the Daredevil title, I like that. Um, Deadpool number six. This is the end of the like killing the Ghost Presidents run, uh, which I'm kind of happy to see uh, go. I did really enjoy the whole run, but uh, I, towards the like five and six, I was kind of done with it. So um, in here, we find out that uh, Deadpool, with some assistance, ends up killing all the presidents and. Um, Something kind of strange happens at the end. He kind of like goes to heaven uh, and gets cleaned, you know. Uh, so that was that was curious. Oh, and the oh, I remember the um, the shield agent that was helping him out. Her spirit got put in his body as well. So I'm curious to see what happens with that. To see uh, what kind of role she plays in that in Deadpool now. Um, Next, we got Superior Spider-Man, number six. Um, I didn't really like the artwork in this one. I remember that. I didn't, I wasn't too psyched about it, but the story was really good. Um, I liked the two villains in it, and um, I, I like and dislike Ox Spidey going just crazy nuts on villains. Um... You know, that, that's what I said about number five as well. I, I really didn't enjoy him, like, actually shooting Massacre in the face. But you kind of realize that it's Doc Ock who's in there and not uh, Peter Parker. So, um, in here he's, like, fighting some bullies. And this is a great, like, anti-bully book. Um, but the way he does it makes him a bully. So, um... Yeah, I, I still like it. I like this title. 
it's just, it's really, it's still kind of on the line with me. Um, you know, I, I don't know. It, it was, it was good though. It was good. Um, next, uh, part one of five of the five ghosts miniseries. Uh, I really did not enjoy this book. I didn't like it from start to finish, really. Um, I don't think I'll be picking up uh, two through five just because I didn't really get the story. I didn't like the writing. The art just didn't do it for me. Um, so, yeah, I would not recommend this one to anybody. I know I said that with um, when I read the first issue of Repossessed, but... At least that one kind of held my attention and had a, a lateral storyline. This one it felt like it was jumping all over to characters I didn't know and you couldn't tell by the art who was who. And I don't know, it just, it didn't do it for me. I didn't really like it. Um, but uh, comic of the week, <sighs> Red Hood, man. This, first off, let's talk about the covers. The covers have been phenomenal since 16 i i know i know 15 was just the the joker face um cover and i i kind of enjoyed those covers actually but um i mean they were they just were that you know everybody had that cover um but from 16 16 17 and 18 all of them have been just crazy awesome covers so um covers awesome the storyline is just uh, slightly confusing in the beginning, but it makes sense at the end, and it really gets me pumped about the future of, uh, Red Hood, and, you know, what could happen, um, so I, I don't want to spoil any of this for anybody, go pick it up, it's worth it, um, yeah, so, uh, those were the kind of quick, not so in-depth lightning <laughs> review um, I did on this week's books, you know, uh, sorry, I couldn't give you more detail and just, there's a lot going on up here. We're actually in the process of packing up to move. I'll be moving, uh, in the next three days. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to get that. I decided to take a break from, from packing for a little bit to, to shoot this. So, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Thanks everybody for subscribing and commenting and participating. It's really awesome. Uh, that's about it. See you guys later.